Good morning, this is Bill with Auto Europa Naples and today I have this gorgeous 1985 Mercedes-Benz 380 SL Roadster. Uh, you know, these 107 chassis, the R107 SLs, are becoming uber collectible and uh, just absolutely desirable and for good reason. They're gorgeous. I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, you know, it was probably designed, it was drawn to paper in the late 60s. They made it all the way from 1972 through 1989. And one of the reasons for that is they're just so attractive. You know, when you say Mercedes-Benz, this is still the car that a lot of people first think of. And uh, it's just such an iconic, beautiful car and so well built in the classic German style. Uh, this one is an unusual color, a metallic burgundy. You really don't see many in that color. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Really contrasts nicely with those original bunt wheels. It's got a mocha soft top, palomino uh, interior. And, uh, you know, just to look at this car, the four big round lights up front, the fogs, the big star in the grill, the long hood, uh, you know, it's got all these sort of very subtle lines that, you know, are very Teutonic, but, uh, you know, still has a very soft side too. Beautiful, beautiful car. And this one has low mileage. It's in great shape. Uh, it's a 1985, so it's the uh, year that it came with the double timing chains and the 380 SL from the factory. So no concerns with that. Uh, let's start inside the trunk. All right, you can see it's essentially like new back here. Very, very clean and proper. Uh, in this area here, you've got your battery, if I can open it. You see that the straps are still intact. That's something collectors like to see. It shows the car has led a fairly soft life. Underneath the carpet is our spare tire. And you can see everything proper there. The toolkit's still with it. It's bolted down nicely. Again, that's exactly what you want to see. Get under the hood before we hop inside. Now here we will find Mercedes-Benz 3.8 liter light alloy V8. Uh, it's better on gas than its uh, uh, successive brother, the 560 SL, or the earlier car, the 380 SL. Uh, again, it has the double timing chains from the factory, so that's something you don't have to worry about. If you don't know what that is, look it up, and uh, you know, be wary of cars built uh, prior to mid-year 84. Um, you can see everything's nice and original under here. Uh, all the stickers are intact. It's been retrofitted to 134A, which is nice. You don't have to do that. And uh, of course, everything as it should be. Nice to see the VIN number stamped up here on the core support. Uh, that's going to tell you that the front end of this car has never been in a collision. Everything's original up there. And, uh, and original it certainly is. Okay, inside you can see the beautiful Palomino Tex interior. Absolutely lovely. Uh, contrasts very nicely with the wood. Uh, the dash is in very good shape. Couple little minor cracks coming off the defrost, but very, very minor. Nice bit of patina. Uh, this one had the dealer installed jump seat in the back, so that's nice. You can throw a couple of kids back there. Underneath this guy here is the uh, soft top itself, which we'll have up in a minute. Now, sitting behind the wheel, you see just 63,000 miles on the clock, which is fantastic. Uh, of course, you get a feel for that instantly by the graining that's still in the steering wheel, the way the uh, hieroglyphics on the controls are not all worn away. Here you see it's got the original Becker radio, which is rare and nice to see. All of the gauges look very proper. The lumber, the wood in the car is nice and shiny. Uh, window switches, everything very proper in this car. Uh, just, a, just a super well-preserved piece. Uh, here the door panels are nice and tight. Uh, this is interesting. You see these little perforations in the door panel? Well, those are designed to keep the uh, occupant cool. What happens is air conditioning blows in through that vent into the door panel and just sort of emanates from that and uh, gives you a nice subtle uh, feeling of, uh, uh, of cool air. Very, very nice feature. Or of heat, of course, in the in the winter so uh, i'm gonna get the soft top up now it's a two-handed deal so i'm gonna pause the phone but uh, after that's up we'll take a look at the car get it back down again and go for a spin all right all right here it is with the soft top up and in place you can see it's in excellent condition 
very clear back windows. They're all a little wrinkly because I just had it stowed, but they uh, even out very nice when it's up for a while. Uh, proper German stay fast material. Uh, it's got a brownish tint to it. It's a mocha soft top. Really uh, contrasts nicely with that burgundy paint. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So uh, there it is. That's how it looks when the soft top is up and in place. Now we're gonna get it back down again and go for a drive. Okay, the soft top is back down in the position this car is, it's in its most natural state. Looks stunning, top down as it should be. And uh, let's go in and give this classic guy a drive. I love these chrome door handles. They did away with that on the 560 SLs to modernize them. And it's a shame. Chrome just looks so classic and proper and the way it should be. There you see that 380 engine fires right to life. Very, very smooth. No issues of any kind. Shifter nice and tight. Bushings are in good shape. It's what you want to see. And away we go. So, you know, one of the great things about these cars is not just that they're collectible, that they're accruing in value, it's that they're a joy to drive. Um, so many collector cars out there, classics, they're lovely to look at, but man, you drive to the next town over and you're ready for a break. Not so these 107s. They're a very modern chassis. They've been very well designed by Mercedes. They're smooth. They're tight. They go down the road nice. The seats are comfortable. The air conditioning is good. This is a collector car that you can hop in and drive to California. And in the world of uh, vintage cars, that's a pretty neat, neat idea. Uh, this one goes down the road extremely nice. Really, really nice. No play in the steering wheel. Nice response from the throttle. You know, it's not going to throw you back in your seat. It's 80s V8 power, but it is a V8 and it does have more than enough oomph to keep you satisfied. So I've got the wind in my hair. I've got my vintage Mercedes Roadster in a beautiful color combination. People are checking me out. They give you the thumbs up. It's a nice way to nice way to spend a morning on the way to work, I can tell you. Uh, so look, if you have an interest, again, 85 380 SL Roadster, 63,000 original miles, beautiful and rare color combination. This thing's a champion. Give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Thank you so much for having a look today. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one.